IKEA Tradbury, which is the competitor to many smart home lighting solutions, such as the Philips Hue, has been out now since April. And since then, they've not changed over from a standard white spectrum bulb. This week, sneakily, the Sneaky Swedes released this, the color IKEA Tradbury bulb. Now, interestingly, they haven't announced this anywhere. It's not even on their website. So when I found out that they might have the color bulbs in their store, I ran down to buy one. And luckily, they did have it. But interestingly, they came in a box like this. And it doesn't really give you much information. It has a pink light on the bottom, and it shows a spectrum wheel. But the annoying thing is, this one bulb cost £35 because I had to buy it again with one of these nightmarish things. Now you'll all remember this from my previous review as an IKEA steering device. Why they've still got these, I don't know because they are pretty much useless and I never use them after you've paired it up with the app. Let's talk about the specifications of the bulb. So, it is a spectrum bulb, and it has something called Kelvins. 2,700 of them, whatever that means. But I think the real important thing is that it's only 600 lumens, which is quite dark. Now, I know saying dark sounds a bit silly, but when you compare that to Philips Hue, their standard color bulb range is 806 lumens, which is 200 lumens brighter than this. However, they do use more energy. These are slightly more energy efficient. Anyway, let's plug it in and see how it performs. Now that it's plugged in, you can see that automatically it comes up with a brightish light, uh, which is just like a normal light bulb. And in the app, I've selected the bulb and I can turn the brightness up and down um, however much I really want to, very much like the normal bulbs. Now, interestingly, if I tap in the top right hand corner, I get access to this, which changes the color of the bulb. So I can tap green for Stu's Reviews Green, for example, and you can see how quick that was as well to change the color. It's a very, very snappy system. Red, orange, white, blue, purple. So you can see it's actually a very, very, very snappy system. And I think this is actually slightly quicker than the Philips Hue bulbs to change the color. However, I don't like how that you can only select these colors. You can't choose your own color from a spectrum. Is that because it's not capable of doing it? Or is it because of the app capability? I don't know. But to tell you the truth, I think it's probably more the app because it gives you a real good selection of different colors. And I find it hard to believe that it's simply based on the bulbs technology rather than the apps technology. So that's a bit of a downside, but it is a very, very snappy uh, responsive system. So overall, I'm quite impressed uh, with the new color edition. Now I said earlier that this costs 35 pounds and that's because it comes with one of those bloody steering devices one of these but having a look on here philips hue for a single bulb costs 49 pounds for a rich color e27 single bulb that's with no steering device so actually, although £35 sounds expensive and you have to buy it with one of these, it's a lot cheaper than competitors' options. Will they, will they release a bulb without one of these? I hope so, because quite frankly, it's frustrating. If I want to kit my entire lounge out with coloured bulbs, it means I'm going to have a hundred of these, which is going to be absolutely useless. But... Overall, I'm really impressed with this addition to the IKEA Tradfree range, and hopefully this is just the start of some amazing stuff that we're going to see in the future.
Guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me out and it'll help you see more Stu's reviews. And as an added bonus, at this moment in time, IKEA Tradfree doesn't support HomeKit and Alexa, but they have announced it. And this is at this point in September. So if you're watching this, they may have released it already and I'll let you know in the description below. But if they haven't, hit that subscribe and you'll find out from me first as soon as that feature arrives. And I'll see you back for another episode of Studio Reviews soon.